Sorry to keep you waiting, man. Now I understand why the old water bills are so high since you moved oh, in. No, that That's is, Abby. I am the worst. I take so many baths. It's a compulsion. She gets cold. I am perpetually chilled. <laughs> what? Don't tell the story. Why not? How do you Fine, want? do the short version. It's a play really about people saying one thing and the other person taking the completely wrong end of the stick of that and then reacting to that and then that person reacting to that and so it all goes out of proportion when both of them are actually trying to be quite nice, you know? When Claire said that we walked out, she said her leg felt weird. So she pulled up her jeans and her left calf... That was my right calf. Her left calf, you're wrong, had swollen to like twice its normal size because well, of the way she was um, sitting. Here. Abby and Zach, who are the main characters, who are played by Sophie Henderson and Matt Whelan, who are two of the best actors of their generation, I would say. And then we've got these two newcomers. Well, not newcomers, really. I mean, Karima and Tawanda, yeah. they play the landlords. And in a way, they play a functioning couple uh, opposite this dysfunctional couple and they kind of give us some hope I suppose at the end that everything's not <laughs> terribly bleak. The doctor sends me to the ER but by the time they could see me they returned to normal so I just felt like an asshole. I was like yeah my leg was swollen before and they were like great so glad we had this talk. See it's not a good story. It is however the story of how we got together. Zach stayed with me the whole time. Even though you were desperately in love with somebody else and would be for can quite some time. You can take as many bots as you need. Amy Herzog has really, uh, is a really good writer and with really good writers they, they give you a road map that's quite easy to follow. You should feel uncomfortable because the characters are uncomfortable and so this was a real opportunity to go, well what are all the different things that you can utilise with theatre to really make that and to have another layer on top of it which was and let's scare people and let's make it a thriller was awesome. So that was I guess the most exciting thing for me was all the way through this was how can I make this play into a thriller that scares the audience. All right, I will leave you to your deepest purpose.